Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to get the lights working for your Honeycomb Bravo Throttle Quadrant in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 as of December 18th, 2020. So let's get right into it. Okay, so once you're in your search engine, type in Aerosoft in the search bar and go to their page. It'll say, what are you looking for in the top? You'll see, type in Bravo Throttle. See right here. And scroll down, you'll see download the latest Honeycomb config tool here. And you'll see Microsoft Flight Sim. Now, when I left click it for me, it doesn't really do anything. As you can see, there's no download appear down here. So I have to right click it and open like a new tab. And I have WinRAR, so you'll see the WinRAR icon in the bottom. Uh, drag it to the desktop. Close that out. Drag it to the desktop and extract. Whether you have 7 zip, I'm pretty sure it's the same basic thing. You just extract it to your desktop, is the moral of the story here. Double click on it and you'll open it up you'll see the application in a readme document. Double click on the application and it will give you a Windows prompt saying do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click yes. Select your language for installation and then you'll see the setup wizard appear. Click next. Accept the agreement. This will show you um, the download pads for it where it'll install or whatever. Click install and that's it. Click finish. And now we're going to make sure it actually installed properly. And you'll see also, I have this show up on my uh, my desktop, ASU updater, or AS updater. I just dragged that to my utility bin. Okay, so now to make sure that it installed properly, hold down the Windows and R key and type in percent app data percent and then hit enter. You'll be prompted with something like this your uh, computer's name, app data roaming. Now, I want to put this out here. I installed my game from Steam and I used the default installation path. If you did Microsoft Store or used a custom install path, you'll have to find where you installed it. But for me, it's in the default path, which is my computer name, app data, and roaming. And you'll see Microsoft Flight Sim right here. Double click on it, go to Packages, go to Community, and you'll see I have my A320 Neo mod, A321, and all that, and the um, liveries. But what we're going to be looking for is the AFC underscore bridge. And as long as you have that in there, that means that it basically installed it and you should be good to go. Good to go, I bet. You should be good to go. So now we're going to hop in Microsoft Flight Sim and actually see if they worked and see the LEDs in action and see, you know, just a quick demonstration. I'll meet you guys in there. So we're in Microsoft Flight Sim right now. I have a flight loaded up. And as you can see, the lights are on. Um, I'm zoomed in particularly to the gear section on the aircraft but I have it, a general view of it. Now, I know the camera quality is terrible, but that right there is parking brake, that is anti-ice, both of which are on. I have my parking brake binded to the general aviation flap, so when I click it, it will turn the parking brake off, as we will see. As you can see, the parking brake enunciator light turns off. Click it on. Click it off. On, off, pretty easy, pretty easy concept. And then we also have lights up here on the autopilot panel. So like your heading, nav, you know, approach mode, whatever, autopilot, all those will light up if you turn them on. But let's get in the air real quick, and I'll meet you guys up in the clouds. All right, so we're up in the air now at a what I call a stable flying. Let's give it a little bit more gas right there. And we're going to focus on the gear LEDs right here, both on the throttle and on the simulator. So each LED is an independent LED just like it would be in real life. So let's say your nose gear doesn't go up and it fails or something. Then the light will stay on or whatever. I don't know how all that works. The point is they're independent LEDs. So it's a, it's more realistic. So let's flick the gear up. It's okay. All gears uh, turn red. And the left and right will go up first, which means those lights will turn off first, I believe, on this aircraft. Yep. And then the nose one is the last one to turn off because it was the last one to go up. And... So yeah, that's pretty much the quick demonstration, of course. Um, so that's just really cool. It really, at nighttime, it makes night flying, like like when I mean nighttime, I mean literal nighttime, when it's your, your room is dark or whatever. It makes that just so much more more cool to me. And let's put the gear down for demonstration. So see, gear lights are red. Two green, one red, and then one green. So... Yep, that was a quick demonstration. If you guys have any concerns, questions, I, I this is my first tutorial video literally ever, so I really don't know 
how to do any of this stuff but I just wanted to show you a little installation guide slash tutorial slash demonstration but if you have any uh, questions or concerns please comment below I'll try to assist you as much as possible uh, thanks for watching peace out